Tonight, Coin6 is digging deeper into a financial package the city of Portland has offered Daimler Trucks. Now, the company is planning to build their new headquarters on Swan Island, and they are promising more than 400 extra jobs over the next five years in exchange for some taxpayer help. Well, Chris Holmstrom went to find out how you can be sure they'll keep their promise. We're confident in Portland. State and city leaders are hopeful for the new jobs and believe they're a big part of Daimler keeping their business in Portland. In fact, the Portland Development Commission is considering to use taxpayer money to grant the company a forgivable $8 million loan. It's a simple method. If Daimler Trucks creates the jobs, they get the money for free. We reached out to the PDC to get answers and find out how they will plan on monitoring these promised jobs. We will establish a baseline employee count, and in the future, when we do these head counts, we will ensure that they have indeed met this, uh, this agreed upon amount of 400 new employees. The PDC assures us if those promised jobs are not met, Daimler will have to pay the money back. And to keep them here, it really speaks to, I think, their commitment to Portland and the need for the city to actively ensure that they do remain here. Corporations like Daimler are a prime example that companies are ready to expand. The local economists say if you want the business to stay in your area, incentives must be offered. Most of the small businesses are not looking for a handout. They're just looking for a fair playing field. And that, I think, would drive growth, expansion, uh, not of 400, but 400, 4,000, 40,000 jobs. And state leaders are starting to recognize this. In fact, just this week, Governor Jay Inslee approved a package of tax incentives for Boeing that he says will help secure tens of thousands of jobs in the state. With Daimler moving forward, investors are hoping the gamble will pay off. The Board of Commissions will make a decision tomorrow. Reporting in Portland, I'm Chris Holmstrom, Coin6 News.